hello everybody today we're going to be going over how to put HTML links inside of the images and websites that you may have on your blog or if you're a YouTube partner like here for example you can post the links um, on top of the image that you have now this method here today is 100% free you do not need Dreamweaver or some type of program to do this the only thing you're going to be using is your browser and it's pretty easy uh, so let's go on to doing this tutorial you're going to want to go to www.imagemaps.com you do not need to sign up to um, use this website it's very easy so do not worry uh, you come right here choose a picture I'm going to go to my desktop I have one on my desktop right here I have my picture I just brought it in and now I'm gonna start mapping it all right here's the image it's a ping file that's why it looks like that and you want to click continue once you brought your image in and you're sure that this is the one you want now here is the image now we're gonna to start to import links onto each one of these little tabs here so we're gonna come over here grab the rectangle tool or it's just called rectangle and it's gonna bring up this little thing right here you see this I'm moving it yeah now this allows you to do anything you can be as flexible as you want depending on what you want you can make this whole thing clickable if you want to or you can make one little area clickable like right here for example for instance I meant to say now I want a YouTube link because I have subscribed there so let's go to my page here I want to grab my link I'm removing something from the back of it and I'm gonna post the link right here you see and you can even test the link if you want but I'm not gonna do that because I know what I what it is and you want to save it and there now that's saved that clickable area now you want to grab the rectangle one more time place it wherever you want I'm using my um, Google I mean my YouTube banner here for example and now I want my Twitter Twitter page <laughs> I said Twitter and now I would want my Twitter page coming to Twitter copy it paste it in there and save now I want my Facebook page copy it now grab my rectangle place it there now save now I have all the pages that I want and now it's time to grab the HTML code and post it um, to your site so, so now come over here to where it says finished and click get code and now you can use other codes if you want um, if you have other sites or things but we're, we we want HTML code here today so I'm going to click HTML code and now here's your code as you can see it's pretty big but you can compress this by clicking compress code and there now it's smaller now most sites I'm not sure if all sites can take compress code but they should um, I'm, I'm sure of it uh, so you want to copy that code go back to your site or whatever it is I'm using my YouTube um, banner here now I want to paste the code and here I'm gonna get rid of my old code and now I'm gonna paste my new code bam there we go and I'm gonna save Save changes, change saves. That's what I meant to say. Now I'm going to refresh. Now time to test it. Let's click my Facebook page, and it takes me straight to my Facebook page. Yeah, it's that easy. I mean, it's not hard at all. So don't worry. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. If you need any help, or have any questions please ask me down below 
but this is pretty easy and it shouldn't be that hard for you if you're if you have your own site or you're planning to you know make a site for the first time and most people who are first time youtube partners um it should be easy as well so thank you for watching see you later Go check out Dev in the Geeks channel and subscribe if you want to be a part of the family. And while you're at it, go check out his Facebook page. You might like what you see. Arriva Dolce.